right, Five Nine Gamers, welcome back to the Old Trust Space Time Podcast, episode 56, Legends W, aka Legends Weekend. And um, today we are joined once again by the Dark Knight, Riku the Best. How are you doing, man? <laughs> I am doing all right. Hopefully everyone is doing well, of course, you know, yeah. everyone in chat, everyone in the podcast. <laughs> Dude, I love Riku's avatar. Yep, that is one of Wait, his oh. one of his. Yeah, emotes. my avatar's been there for a while. <laughs> that's that's one of your chat emotes, right? So if you don't, uh, if you haven't done that, make sure to follow Riku on Twitch, on Twitter, all the good stuff. But uh, we, of course, uh, are not a two man show. We are also joined by the free to play legend Azdeek. How are you doing, man? Doing amazing, dude. Got some big stuff coming our way on Legends. Legends W. Legends W. And we have our <laughs> our clap coup defender. I don't know what else to say, but it's just the biggest fa <laughs> defining feature. <laughs> Swift, what's up, man? Yo, what's up? What's up? And of course, we got uh, the, the jabroni. We got X Noctis. How are you doing? <laughs> whoa, whoa, yo, what up? I nearly <laughs> laughed out loud while seeing Rico's avatar. Oh my god! <laughs> no joke. I nearly laughed out loud and interrupted Palm. It was so close, dude. <laughs> just mute. Easy. Yo, Bro, and uh, it was so sudden. <laughs> all right so before we start as always twitch prime is not a crime so if you want to support us and you have that prime sub lying around consider subscribing to us for free because twitch prime is the free opportunity to support the streamer of your choice once a month and with that said make sure to also follow us on our link tree it's in the chat right now twitter twitch tiktok facebook reddit discord all the good stuff and uh, let's get into the nitty-gritty today we are going to talk about obviously zenkai janemba the fact that we are getting him for free, if you want to wait. We got Ultra Omega coming soon. Um, we got that huge feedback update and part of it, uh, you may have already seen the short on our YouTube channel, the Legends Weekend update. And we also got the Platinum Equips for Ultra, Goku and Vegeta. So with that said, let's go in and um, Riku, what are your thoughts on Zenkai Janemba? I, I think he's okay. I think he's solid, you know. Like I said, I'm... Not mad that he's like the first Zenkai that we actually do get for free because I think he's a solid option. You know, purple Zenkai for a region. If you main that team, because like what other units do we have for region? We still have the purple Android 21 for HP buff, but yeah. you know, like I said, yeah, sell if you don't have them, you know. But like I said, if you main region, I probably would have summoned for sale if you have the crystals, but you know, he's also on limited teams, powerful opponent, region androids in future yeah i mean actually it's, it's still select teams but you know if you use a team like fusion warriors say in sound family you would really have no reason for them or not so even if you don't like use any of his teams you're i feel like you're naturally going to get some of his awakening power by playing pvp and gauntlet anyway so um yeah. you could just so boost them later if you don't have the zenkai awakening like uh the souls for them and whatnot but you know, I'm just glad that Zenkai's now from here on out will be free. So, and like I said, he's, I feel like he's a really decent start. I feel like he's a really good start for that. But yes, I, I think he's solid. I think he's solid. And I, you know, it's funny because when he was Zenkai, I was like, wait, he's probably the only unit in the game that I remember that actually counters top blast and not just only blast arts. I had to remember that because he's and an older unit. I think UI Goku and, does that too, right? Uh, not UI, uh, I'm sorry, uh, the, the green IT Goku is the only other one, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the yeah, blue. the only other one with the super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, I had to remember that because, you know, they, they're they like older units. And nowadays, like, they just have it to where it either counters like strike or a blast with their perk skill. So the, I, also, I also found that funny because I, you know, I try to bait out a lot. And it's like, yeah, I wonder if people remember if this man counter top blast. And like, nope. All right, getting my uh, stagger off. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think he's solid. I like him. He's cool. I like him. Yeah, I guarantee there's probably a lot of people that don't remember his kit too well. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, especially I mean, I think degree. you made a good point about he's kind of like the the mark and like the beginning of like the more free to play Zenkai era, which is fine. You know, we're not going to be I think we just have to accept like probably future Zenkais are not going to be super busted. There might be like a select few here and there, probably the LF Zenkais and stuff like that. But um I think we're kind of entering the age of like balanced Zenkais and then like mm -hmm. the LFs and possibly summonable ultras are going to be like the units that are really shining in PVP. 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, I hope that the, the Zenkais are not as timid to the point where, you know, the, the point of Zenkais was to make old units relevant again. So hopefully that they're, they're keeping it the way it is so that you can still use them, that you can have some fun with them and just use some units that, I don't know, collected dust in your box for like a year and a half, two years by now, I guess. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Like balanced enough yeah. to be like viable in PvP, but not like just overly busted to the point to where they just dominate every match. Yeah, they yeah. definitely have to be careful with, you yeah. know, what LF next, you know, that they're going to Zenkai since now it's becoming an, op you know, a free option. So they really, really have to be careful of that. I will say, I think they did a good job with Goten, the purple Goten. Oh, 100%. I don't think, I don't think they went too crazy on him. Like, don't get me wrong. He's amazing. He is very, very good. But he's an LF Zenkai. You just have to expect that. And mm -hmm. when you compare him to, like, other LF Zenkais, I think they kind of you know, didn't go as hard as, you know, FSK or Super Saiyan 3. Yeah, um, I'm glad. Yeah. But hopefully, yeah. like, any future LF Zenkai, like, the, like maybe they'll, you know, be similar to Goten where they are really good, but they're not, like, just overly busted. Yeah, like, he didn't, like, immediately take Revive a Gohan spot on the team. Like, he's a good addition. Of course, he, you know, Zenkai buffs him as well. But, you know... He, he was, you know, buffed enough to be usable and not, like, just broken like some of the older Zenkais, which we still have an issue with, <coughs> Gohan. Yeah. But <laughs> now I'm just glad the Zenkais nowadays are at least usable and not as crazy. Just like the purple Dragon Ball Super Broly, when he was Zenkai, people thought he was going to be broken because remember when that unit came out, he was a monster for, like, a year plus. You know, that yep. purple Transformer and Broly. Oh, man, mm -hmm. he was Holy a Trinity, menace. bro. Holy Trinity was terrible. Yes, the Holy <laughs> Trinity. Yo, like, when he gets Zenkai, it was like, who is this guy? <laughs> like, yeah. he was just bounced <laughs> to a point where he was usable, but not as broken as he once was when he first came out, which I was super happy. I was like, well, these Zenkais are being balanced now. It's just the issue with the older Zenkais, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Dude, yeah. this is kind of off topic, but I feel like there's a holy holy trinity nowadays, but it's just it's just changed up a little bit. It's still Bardock, but then you got Revival I, Gohan and Future Gohan. I think that like brings us holy trinity. I think right into the Ultra Goku when we talk about him, when we talk about like um the holy trinity, because he is a Super Saiyan unit, but I'll save that for for the next topic or whenever we get to Ultra Goku. Well, yeah, speaking yeah. of Ultra Goku, you know, yeah, he did get an equipment, which I think is very good, but I think we might be talking about that a little later. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, so who of you fell for his for his, for Janemba's green card <laughs> so far? Because I, I, I have to say I did. I was just like, uh, as soon as I tapped that blast card, I was like, oh, crap, no. <laughs> and of course he had a green card. <laughs> I, th I think it was just harder for me to bait people into doing that for me i was like wait i was like okay let me just sit here and and actually bait out his counter and see how people respond and i see the top i say like, oh okay appreciate that thank you but like <laughs> it was harder for me to bait people because i feel like i guess a few people that i fought actually knew that he counters oh man they remember it yeah so, yep <laughs> you know what's uh you know what's annoying too dude is that both him and the the red janemba both have that ability where they can counter tab shots on their green cards Oh, I forget Rhea Janemba can do that. And they both get the, the green cards on the main abilities. So you'd be running those double Janembas, bro. You got to watch out, man. That's it's an annoying, yeah, that's annoying deal yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Except that Red Janemba sucks. So you're basically <laughs> running two and a, two no and a half is, units. Yeah. You know, so yeah, just, just for an extra green card, you might as well just run, I don't know, another unit that produces a green card on their main ability. Like yeah, we're seeing on screen here, on like there. that Revival Gohan. Much better choice, I think. Yeah, that too. Oh, no. <laughs> I know, right? I mean, also that Zenkai, you know, purple Frieza, uh, Zenkai Ella Frieza for a powerful opponent, you know, double purple. If you oh, yeah, true. Be weird. Super <laughs> 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 oh, smart, you know? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, I really like his Zenkai as well. I'm happy about that. The Finally, the Ella Zenkai Frieza. Oh, the, yeah. Because I, I, I assume, don't want to go too much off topic, of course. Like, I assume that... They weren't going, like, they didn't really have any plans to Zenkai. I mean, the team needed that 100% lineage of evil and stuff like that, Frieza Force, sure. And it's like, man holds a super art. When are they going to Zenkai this Frieza? Hmm. Yeah. And, like, once they Zenkai'd him, I was like, yo, this is nice. I really, I really do like that Frieza now. Like, well, I like them more when I get more than six stars on him, of course. But, because I had him at, like, two, three stars for the longest, because the game would never give me a purple LF. And it's still true. So. Damn. 
Yeah. I'm, I'm fine now. I just had to. <laughs> you recovered well, a little bit. a little more. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's rough. <laughs> So uh, um, how many times did you guys face uh, the Janemba in PvP? I only Not faced them once. I think I'm kind of surprised. Right, yeah, yeah, I feel like I've only faced them like one time. Yeah, once or twice. Okay. Yeah, like or, once. Yeah, I think just on literally release. I remember I grinded him up to um because we had a maintenance that day when he dropped. Yeah. I did get him to Zenkai three that same day, and then I hopped into PvP because I wanted to try him out, and I only encountered him once, and I haven't seen him since. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm I mean also, the thing is, is like they literally just dropped cell, like. Yeah, but it seems just also to be a pattern, typical, right? Typical, they they drop an LF and then they drop a Zenkai, like same color, same tag. Yeah, to to buff him or to have an alternative. But I'm yeah, also. Yeah, it is nice to buff him. I guess I've seen that more time. I I've seen, bench. I've seen Janemba on the bench Zenkai buffing cell more times than I've seen him in PvP. Ha that's for sure. Hashtag Janem bench. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice name. <laughs> I'm sure he doesn't appreciate it. Probably not. <laughs> but I, <laughs> but I, I can really, also... One of my favorite... Oh, go ahead. So one thing I'm thinking is um, we might see him more often in about, I don't know, 10 days or so, or maybe is that a week uh, when everybody has him to Zenkai at least six. Because the thing is, you know, we're going to talk about that, but that was, since he's free, people might actually not spend. Like I'm not spending, I'm not even doing the dailies. I'm just waiting until I have him fully Zenkai from the missions and everything. So maybe yeah. people are actually, you know... Patient, uh, saving their crystals because you mean Black Friday is coming and just doing the free Zenkai, kind of the made it was made to be. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, I, I, absolutely, and I think that's smart, anyways. Like you said, Black Friday, and then we got New Year's. I think um, big, big stuff. It's definitely smart to try and save up as much as you can right now. Yep, 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 yep. One hundred percent agree. Sorry, you were saying yep. something, Azik. Uh, I was just going to say, my favorite aspect of this Janemba is definitely his blue card. You get the, the Vanishing Restore, like what is it, like 50% or 60%? Yeah, I think it was something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. dude, that actually Wait, really? comes in clutch a lot. Yeah, dude. Mm -hmm. is but look at so look at what good. we see on screen right now. Passive Andy versus Passive Andy. It's like Namek yep. Goku versus <laughs> Janemba. This is like, this goes to timer and nobody wins because zero damage. Oh yeah, you get a Janemba and Namek Goku standoff. It's like, well, I got the quirk. Well, I got the super heart. So, <laughs> bro, I feel like I'd be having Wait, standoff with Saiyans anyways, because like it's it's a super standoff to begin with. Like you just don't want to, don't neither person wants to initiate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> or it's like yeah, versus Super Saiyan three. They always have a green card as well. Yeah, yep. like when I fight as Super Saiyan three, it's natural for me to always assume they have a green card and then assume they. That they'll get like a super art within five counts. In which they usually do have a super art, which I'm not surprised. I just try to be wary of that. Like as soon as they come, it's like, yeah, you have a cork skill, don't you? So, oh man, <laughs> scary. Yeah, yeah. And it's one times. of those things that forces you to to go out. Of, like if you're like in your play style, you know, you're you're making moves left and right. And then that happens and it just kind of like messes up your play style a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Throws right? off your yeah. timing a little bit. Ah, oh, that top help. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what do you? I know you guys already yeah. Go ahead. Covered uh, perfect sale like probably last podcast, but the podcast probably one or two before that. You know, I did bring up I wanted perfect sale. L off. You know, I. Yeah. I think you may have. Yeah, I think I remember you saying it on Twitter funny. as well. So you know. Yeah, yep. of course. You know, I got the Carfax. I'm just glad the game actually <laughs> loves me for once. That's all. How many stars is I your? I think it was sale? deserved. It was definitely deserved. Oh, it was hard. Uh, I think I get them six, seven. Like, I minimum try to get them to six stars so I can get that Z ability level three. Yeah. And then after that, it's like, well, I'm not Garash, but uh, I, I do my best. <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> imitate. To my name. <laughs> exactly. No, I, um, I think Cell was also the first banner I went in, like, hard. But I got super lucky. Like, the first 21.5k, I think, I got him to seven Dude, stars. oh my gosh. But I also mm -hmm. had one wow. Z-Power lying around. But yeah, that was... Dude, Palms literally had, like, some of the best luck I've ever seen in my life. Nice. It was for insane. Once. For once. It was painful for me to watch. It was, it was like an yeah. LF every other multi, basically. He yeah. was living my dream. Also, also, <laughs> you, you know, I got... Yes, the, the, the way I measured that I got luckiest... I am somewhere around 45k crystals now, and I did not pull a single LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku. That's how lucky I got. <laughs> yep. I pulled you know what? I, I don't think I ever pulled him either. I actually oh forget God. he was on the banner. <laughs> wow. I pulled, like, I pulled every other LF, just not him. 
Okay. Bro, I, I remember pulling him on a daily and like I wasn't even hype. <laughs> oh, it was like, it was no. like, you know, like, normally oh, you get an yeah, LF on a daily guy. and like no matter what it is, you're, it's hype because it's like, oh, you know, I got an LF on a daily. But then yep. I, I remember pulling him. I literally was not even hype. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> literally just treating him like Sin Shenron just popped up on the screen. <laughs> it is what it is, huh? But yeah, yeah, what what team do you think he's better on? Do you think he's better on like region movies, powerful opponent, purple, purple, red, mono purple heroes? Janemba, uh, mm -hmm. um, probably region. Yeah, I would say region as well. Region yeah, a lot of support in opponent. region. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking region as well. Yeah, because you could run him with that kid boot right, and you'll get his like juicy like um, Z ability since he is also he's both the powerful opponent and regen right. You talking about the green one? Yeah, the little the free to play one. Yeah, oh, yeah. they're they're pretty nice together. Palms, I wanted to ask you something because I know you main regen. What's up? Do you think like is Janemba what they gave him? Have you? I don't know if you've like you know just briefly looked at his kit or if you've actually like looked into it. But is, do you think it's enough or do you like it? You know, do you like that as a purple option for regen? <laughs> or do you prefer cell? Um, I prefer cell, and also I think I would probably still prefer DKP. But that's just you because would prefer of the, purple DKP over Janemba. I think so. Like that, just because yeah, of the same. because of the playstyle, you know. Like yeah, Janemba okay. has the stats. Janemba has the green card, but purple DKP has the damage, you know. And uh, the rest of the team yeah. is already tanky. You just need somebody to actually deal damage. So if you don't have Cell, you might want to consider bringing DKP purple if you have him at you know a good amount of stars. And he has been in so many banners that if you did summon on any of the Legends uh, All Stars, you probably have him at least. Seven to nine stars if you summon frequently, let's say. Se yeah, seven to for nine sure. Stars? He's been on a he's been on a oh. bunch of banners. Jesus, dude. I had to like throw all my Z power into him to get him up to six stars. Yeah, tell me about <laughs> it. Okay, good. <laughs> I mean, he's got that yeah. evolution Vegeta factor almost where like every time the enemy swaps out, he draws a card. Like it's a, he's got that oppressiveness. Yeah. yeah, and then also you could you could yeah. potentially, you know, like if you play him with let's say the yellow DKP. He gets car draw speed. You go into the main ability of the purple one. You get a full hand and like almost full key. And if you get a couple of blast cards, I think you can almost combo into his main ability where the blast cards then cost 19 and he gets car draw speed. And if he has a green card, <laughs> he draws a new card after transformation. So it's, uh, you know, all that stuff makes yeah, him so yeah. good. It's, it's oh yeah. Once he's in sure. a com once he's in a combo, you can just get grab a coffee or something. It's like almost like 18, <laughs> you know. You'll be there for a while. <laughs> yeah, unless you have a combo breaker or something. But yeah, yep. so it seems like most people play a region. Um, and what equips do you think are best for him? Have you checked it out? Anybody? <laughs> no, I don't think I have the optimal equips for him. I do have... The I have the, the basic region equips. So the ones I have is like... The I have to go through the names of them, but I don't have any like um awakened equipment for him. I just have the equipment like the Ahaha, the Majin Buu one with like the Blast Attack Strike Attack, and I have well, no, that one's for Piglo. Yeah, I don't have any like Janemba specific equipment just because I'm very bad at grinding equipment. However, I did recently awaken. One of Piccolo's equipment, which is definitely not Janemba at all. <laughs> uh, that's his awakened equipment, but it's still not Z. It's still stuck at S. The awakened beat it. Yeah, I just but, I just got that to a Z like the other day. Like, uh, I, yeah, I saw you. You posted a screenshot. Dude, eleven percent health restoration. That slot is so bad. You have like health restoration, strike defense, or blast defense on it. I think you have yeah. to get so lucky to get health restoration and a high number. It's, Insane. I have it at like 10.65. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm scared to reroll that. But as far as Janemba, no, I don't I don't have any awakened equipment. Oh, I know he can use the now the 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 platinum equipment, the one that just came out, but that one with the health restoration. You know, the one I think it came out for a terrorist. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know exactly what you're talking about. It's on the screen. Yeah, right yeah, now. yeah. I yeah. think he can use that. Health restoration up to 10%. Strike attack, blast attack. Last defense. Mm -hmm. And then you could probably also use the Incarnation of Evil one, the, the Awakened yeah. one. Also has a special move damage, bunch of strike attack and blast defense. 
And then mm-hmm. the the Humph, yeah, he awakened. The new awakened equipment. He also has health restoration there, and he has has a strike and blast attack, and then one of the defense stats, twenty percent. The funny thing is that um, those two equips that have Janemba on, you can also use for Gokua, and they are pretty nice. Especially the yep. incarnation of yeah, evil, true. where he gets up to thirty-seven percent strike attack. Plus twelve point five percent special move damage. Gokua is gonna eat that. He's gonna be like, oh yes. Yeah, this new equipment is really damn good. This new awakened one. Yeah. But good luck getting a good first slot, as always. Equipment reload. Yeah, that one is fun. always tough. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's a hobby at this point. It's not even torture. It's just a hobby. <laughs> Love torture. If you're myself. if you're a masochist, <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. Aren't we all? Yeah, that's honestly <laughs> one equipment I definitely recommend though. Just the awakened incarnation, like you said. Want to get that for him and uh, Goku? Oh man, so good. Yeah, that's what I would say. Bro, I still think they silently mm-hmm. increased the Zenny cost of rerolling equipment. I think it's just because maybe you got shafted more. <laughs> no, oh my like god! I, it just like whenever I reroll equips right now, like let's say I'll do my rush and I'll have like a hundred, hundred slot erasers or whatever, or ninety nine. Um, I'll go in and I, it just feels like I run out of Zenny way faster now you compared to like oh. four or five months ago. But it's the same cost though. Like it's still 12 million at max for, um, for the normal ones. And I think I like 20 know, million. I don't know, man. Maybe it's my mind playing tricks on me, but I don't Maybe. know. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, it's like 20 million for awakened equips or something. It's insane. Oh yeah. yeah it adds up really quickly. Yeah, yeah. You just run out like. You know, Maybe that's what not, it is. I'm re-rolling more Awakened, and it's just probably. eating up my Zenny. Yeah, it's more yeah. expensive. Yeah. So don't forget to yeah. enjoy Legends on the weekend and farm your Zenny. <laughs> yes, sir. But yeah, again, uh, let's go back to the fact that uh, Zenkai's are now free, and also Janemba is free. Um, Noctis, what are your thoughts on, on the system, the missions, all that stuff, and the fact that we don't have to pay Dude. if we don't want to? The funniest thing is, like... I don't know if I said it here or on, on my stream or so, but on the battle gauntlet, my only issue was that we only get CC and nothing else. And with this update, we suddenly get uh, Zenkai awakening power. So I, I kind of really like that. So we get 3000 by just doing the gauntlet and the rest 4k we get in missions you kind of get on the fly. The only thing you need to do is slightly get out of your way and play movies but that ain't too bad we do doing top doing your oh, yeah. daily missions KOing characters like you do anyway so you don't go out of your way to get the zenkai for free that's what i really damn like and you get him straight up to zenkai 7 you don't even need to do the dailies you just need to chill do the missions, play the gauntlet, and if you don't play the gauntlet for the Zenkai power, just play it for the 700 CC and you get him as a top egg for free. You know what's funny so, is uh, when you play the gauntlet, I think one of the boost characters was Purple Bojack, I think. Yes. And that's Purple the sagas Bojack, from yes. the movies character. Movies. That's the movies, that's the movies exactly. character, which and means uh, you, you click is, auto battle and it's done. Like yeah. the first three stages. You don't even need to play movies. You just skip the battles and it counts. And that's how you get the movie um, battles. And yeah, that's basically it. Like you don't need to go out of your way at all and you get him to Z7. Only play Gauntlet and do TOP, some daily co ops, and you're done. Yeah, I'm glad I got the co op done. Now I can forget about this mode again for a little bit. <laughs> you don't do your dailies? Shame no, on you. No, I man. hate this. It's like a chore. True. I'm so happy. <laughs> I am so happy when I don't have to. Yeah, I actually God, don't blame don't you. Because you know, it just takes either, it takes so long, and then it's also heavily dependent on your your buddy. Mm-hmm. And sometimes it's just like, come on, man, let's just rush. No. You know, dude. Honestly, sometimes I feel like um, some of the buddies be so like detrimental to you and your team. Sometimes that I almost wish that I could just have an ai buddy that i can just choose my ai buddy like let me just get the boost unit ai in there instead of just an actual yeah what you're you're telling me you don't like getting matched with a level 200 shallot <laughs> yeah. i mean no equipment i mean that's what the disband button is for right i know i was just yeah. kidding but, but yeah. it's uh, bro it, when you're just constantly running into it over and over or when you get like an actual good buddy as like a, a unit like say say like you get the revival gohan 
and he just sits there and he's just like charging for whatever reason. He's just hitting charges. <laughs> they just, they just tap punch. Cards. Just tap punch. Yeah, they just yeah, just tap. Why? Why do they all do that? They just tap punch over and over. And it's just like I, I need to know the thought process behind that. I'm just getting smacked left and right. I don't have the boost unit like that. And then they're just tap punching. Or the guy, the guy that never saves you. Mm. Yep, that too. <laughs> <laughs> that one guy did. <laughs> that one guy that'll never save you. Like they'll, you'll, he'll have a million opportunities to save, and he'll never do it. You just don't know where <laughs> the button is. He doesn't even is. interrupt the bot. He just chills and watches you get shit on. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've had that happen to me, uh, not really in co-op, but in raid, when people are, like, just grinding it heavily. I've had that happen where, like, we'll start a match, and the dude will just sit there, like, and, and just, I guess, expect me to take out the boss. Like, yeah, I've this had that is, happen that's many what times. Connect, enjoy playing with the bot. Yeah, exactly. The only issue with the bot is you never know when they're rising, Rush. It's so weird. I'm cool with that, though. I'd rather have that than, like, it DCs and I have to go through the whole matchmaking process again and match yeah, another very level true. 200 shallot and true, disband true. five times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the amount of times in co-op, dude, where I get matched with someone and just DC, like, even during our rise, I'd like, be like, okay, this is the final rising rush. They DC. Why does this happen? Yeah. Why is this game like this? Dude. I have to do this all over again. I'm supposed to be sleeping, and it's like, I'm just glad they added AI, because I've won AI yeah. in there forever. Same. I like this supposed to be sleeping, Bartman. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, I'm like i on a schedule here. Why are you guys doing this to me? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it, it was really rough when, the, when that was still in the game. Just no AI taking over the other player leaving. So I'm glad, I'm glad. You know, Dude, I had one guy. I hate it when that happens at like 100k HP on the bot and ADC for some reason. <laughs> Dude, I had one guy disconnect on me on the right on on the raid boss like way back when because the rising oh rush didn't God. match. So we would have killed him what? anyways, but we 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 chose different cards. I always choose the blue card so they cannot match me as much as possible. Yeah, I do that as well. And, like uh, the blue or maybe he disconnected green. because it's not the perfect rising rush. I guess. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys weren't holding hands. You guys weren't weren't on the same wavelength, yeah. so, you know. <laughs> no soulmates. Oh, no, I can't vibe with this person. <laughs> He's a super art user. <laughs> yeah, he does not get my points. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's quite funny. Yeah, but honestly, I also like the system. I mean, if you don't want to, if you don't want to wait, you can just do the missions. I think you could get him to, like, Z4 the first day, and everything else mm -hmm. was kind of time-gated yeah, with, yeah. with the daily missions I mean, and the co-op. Nah. I think it's the Z4. Yeah, Z4 is pretty hard though, unless you do the gauntlet at one. Yeah, actually, I did. I autoed the gauntlet like in during meetings. I was just clicking next, next, oh, next, yeah. next, I mean, next. Yeah. Auto bat battle and then let it just let it rip. The seventy battles and then some um, from the missions. Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I even did. I did the entire gauntlet just with auto battle. It worked. You know, not just a quick battle, but then just auto it. Oh. And it. it oh, you did that on the last thirty the on the last thirty battles yeah. as well. So Damn. while I was oh, doing wow. other stuff, I was just looking uh, every once in a while if the battle was finished. Click next, click next, done. And then you have even on like battle team. 100. Yes. Damn, that's actually pretty impressive. And then you know sometimes. I mean, he has like a nine star cell, right? <laughs> yeah, that helps. <laughs> I don't know what you what you're in, what you're getting at, but yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Flexing his cell. Hey, you just flexed my cell, okay? <laughs> I kind of, yeah. No, but, you know, it's like, <laughs> and then you already have the, like, KO 100 character thing, thing done. You have the sagas from the movies requirement done. You have, like, you have the first daily missions done and mm -hmm. a bunch of other stuff. So you should yeah. get 10 and you get good for a Z4. Um, so, you know, I like that. Yeah, it's kind of insane. Z4 for free on day one. Yep. That's Oh, nice. I'm, I'm actually glad to hear that, to be honest. To hear something like that. Oh man, you can Zenkai for free now? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Zenkai, yeah. you're free unit right now. It's like advertisement or something. Who, you know? who would have yeah. thought? <laughs> who would have thought? Yeah, I know, right? Like if you would have if you told me that like a half a year ago, I would have laughed at you probably. Be like, yeah, right. Le like, like Legends is gonna do spending, that. Yeah. Yeah. From <laughs> spending 20k plus to getting it to free. Free. Really day one. <laughs> for literally getting yeah. rewarded for doing it, right? Because you're yeah. getting the CC yeah, with pretty the much. on it. Yes. Well, well now that they have announced that it's going to be free, I really hope that they continue to, you know, can you know continue dropping Zenkai's then, and like hopefully they kind of show love to certain tags that need the love, mm -hmm. and um, 
You know, I don't want to like now that they announced that it's free. I don't want them to like all of a sudden slow down on the Zenkai release schedule. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, now they have yeah, to worry about Ultra. monthly. So. I feel like. Yeah, oh, yeah for Zenkai sure. Ultra? But who's gonna be the first Zenkai Ultra dude? <laughs> MUI. Oh, FSK. <laughs> They're just going to they're Not just like going this. to raise FSK's rarity to Ultra and then Zenkai him right away. Yeah. <laughs> they're just gonna raise it. Yep. Next update, he's an Ultra <laughs> unit now. Ultra legendary <laughs> finish Zenkai revival. No. <laughs> you can you can unlock it. You can unlock it if you play co-op 100 times within a day. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. Yeah. But extreme oh, co-op. Don't even. Extreme no, co-op. Okay, yeah, that's oof. Right. Hundred extreme. I'm gonna yeah. take a day off. Bye. But <laughs> yeah, pretty uh, much. honestly, the thing I like the most about this is that so I know people are a lot of people ask me too, is that what about the old Zenkais? And they're honestly, even those, the older Zenkais are becoming a lot like basically free to play as well. Like they just recently added Bardock into the USTR shop. And I can imagine that they're going to continue doing that right with the older ones that weren't that were prior to this update. So, you know, yeah. Zenkais Dude, are yeah. truly in an amazing spot right now, I think. Yeah. Bro, I'll tell you right now, if you're a free to play character and you don't have that Bardock Zenkai, that's that's got to be your first priority. Yep. 100 He will agree. literally you can build a team around that unit and he will carry you to top 10k and then you can just start saving up CC every season for making top 10k. Yep. Like that's yeah. how you got to do it. But Yeah, I do agree with that. Definitely oh, go for that Bardock. He's insane. With Ultra Goku also being yep. free and a Super Saiyan, he can also be on the team. So that's two units right there. Yeah, and then Just, Broly. Remember the free to play Broly is actually not bad at 14 stars at all. That's a whole team right there. Oh yeah, yeah. or the core at least. Oh yeah, he's pretty that's good. That's a good free to play option. You know, yeah. once you get Bardock out the way, definitely. But yeah, now Bardock this will literally change? just like carry almost almost any Super Saiyan team unless it's just like super old units. But Bardock is would just this change? insane. They might have uh, stayed with the old balance changes, I feel like. Like when they rebalanced a certain character, like might as well it should have stayed with that instead of doing Zenkai. Now it's free anyway. The thing is though that I think that uh, they yeah. didn't make that, that big change, those big changes. I think Zenkai changes are, you know, much more pronounced. And the other thing is that the free, the balance changes, they were free as in, you just got them. You have the unit in your box, bam, there you go. But now they can force you yeah. to play co-op. Or battle gauntlet or yeah, whatever, they you know. Can force content on you. Exactly, it's content. Yeah. It's something to do. Yeah, they're still gonna be getting a return on it for sure. It might not be like immediate monetary return, but they're they're getting a return on it for sure. Yeah, yeah. And uh, honestly, though, but like I said, you're also getting rewarded for it prior to. Like, oh yeah, for sure. Getting the balance changes, you didn't get CC for that, so uh, it's it's still a positive in my book. I think. I yeah, a hundred percent. I think the biggest reward they got back for it was Ignan started Dragon Ball Legends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that too. <laughs> oh, wow. Legends W. <laughs> so yeah, we got. Uh, yeah, it was honestly weird to see him play. Yeah, and he was act yeah. apparently he was enjoying himself. <laughs> I remember he sent me a, he sent me a DM like, "Hey, Legends man, why is Zamasu so cracked? <laughs> he he two carded my VB." <laughs> 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 it was just fun. Uh, uh. Um, but yes, yeah, sp speaking of, uh, since we talked about region before, um, Asdi, we're going to get uh, the free Omega Shenron Ultra next week, probably. Are you hyped? Dude, I am. Oh my God, bro. I am so ready for this chat. Like, you guys better be hyped for this as well. <laughs> I cannot believe they skip sagas just to go and help GT even more. You know, I, I can completely understand it. And I'm absolutely down for it, right? Like, we're getting the Ultra Omega Shenron. We're getting the Plat Equip for Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta because God knows he needed it already on release. But it's just the, the info that we have right now, the only thing that I am really, really scared of is the fact that if you guys listen to the, the video and stuff like really closely, um, it said that Omega Shenron will likely be the last free one for a while, right? That's the, oh. the main thing that I'm like concerned about because it's just like I, I really was getting like used to this, getting the Ultra Gokus, the Ultra Vegeta, the Ultra... Um, Omega Shenron now, all free to play. You know, that's massive for us, for, for free to play players, for just players in general. And it's just, I think it's healthy for the game overall. So when they introduce the, the summonable ultras, I, I think it, it's going to be really like a, a tiptoey like subject, I think, because I, I don't know what their rates are going to look like, how, you know, how hard they're going to be like to pull and stuff like that. But, you know, it's just, it's just a really weird spot for me. I would have preferred them to be free to play, but obviously, um, 
I, I think that was too much to expect too much. But going back to Omega, like he his animations look amazing, man. Like how, how are you guys feeling about him? I am happy and I was surprised. I had no idea Omega. I was like, wait, Omega? Ultra? Because when I saw like the when they show like the beginning screens of the, you know, the little the black art and whatnot. I saw nails. I was like, wait, is that Beerus? And then it showed Omega Shinra. I was like, oh, wait, that's Omega Shinra. I was like, what the heck? Yeah, I actually dude, had no yeah. idea. I was completely surprised because, you know, throughout all this year, we have received, I mean, after the third anniversary, go on, we've received the Saiyan Saga units. We've received Namek Saga well, with the Ultra Goku and the Ultra Vegeta. We've received the Boo Saga with the Free Kid Boo and Cell Saga with the Perfect Cell. And now we have a GT, you know, slash regeneration. Because I don't know if he's going to be a powerful opponent. I'm sure he will, question mark. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. And when I saw Omega Shinra, I was like, yo, I'm actually, I'm actually excited because I know whenever I, you know, am streaming like these uh, video and stuff, a lot of people was like, oh, man, y'all want to transform an Omega Shinra and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? That would be cool. Similar to how DKP is, you know, we spits out the Dragon Balls. Yeah. It's going to be more or less the same type of animation with Omega Shinron when he absorbs all the Dragon Balls and whatever and just goes from Sin to Omega and blow. So I was like, okay, you know what? I can see him as like a transforming unit. But then when they brought out the Ultra, I was like, yo, I was like, you know, I actually kind of like this. You know, this, this is nice. This is nice. So I was actually happy to see him. Really nice animations. And I just want to be able to use them already, honestly. But as far as like the Ultras, I know they've stated like at the beginning or whatnot that all of them weren't going to be free. I, I at least thought maybe after a fourth ultra, then we'll start getting summonable ones. So hopefully the next one after Omega will also be free. But who knows? We already have the transition to Zenkai being free now. So maybe they just may go to ultras being paid now, you know, kind of like switching the cycle. Zenkai's are free. Ultras are not free anymore. Stuff like that. So I, I, I wouldn't. Get your hopes up only so that you won't get disappointed for, you know, ultras to not be free anymore. But just don't be surprised if the next one is like paid and, and whatnot. But and yeah, as far as the rates, I, I I don't think ultras should go any lower than what um, the original LF units were, which is 0.25, I believe. Yeah, yeah. that's already. I don't low. think they should go any rate lower than that since now they're like 0.5, especially well, disregarding this banner that's out now, which we'll get to little later but yeah i'm really excited for omega shinron i can step on my own my region team try him on there figure out what the best team for him is powerful opponent is a team i love but i feel like it's still missing some stuff on that team you know just has all beefy boss units yeah, LFs. very expensive team yeah lf so whatnot very expensive team and you know so i want to see where he fits the best when he does come out because i'm looking forward to it and he's a villain 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 free ultra dope yeah dude that that is honestly just sick in its own right the only thing is mm -hmm. that the the color though because i feel like we have like good colors for everyone in gt like in terms of like a yellow you have my jube in terms of a green you have super 17 and maybe maybe no, super saiyan don't 4 say gogeta. it don't say it <laughs> <laughs> and that, yeah, maybe he'll take super saiyan 4 gogeta's job not as far as color but maybe tanking capabilities yeah you know they also release yeah. are also going to release a plat equip for ssj4 right so we'll see if that helps him or how it helps him yeah, it could be like the OG LF plat equips and stuff like that. It might be a massive boon. Yeah, like the Super Saiyan um, 3 one. Yeah, dude. That, Yo, that, that would be absolutely nice. nuts. But mm -hmm. for blues, we have um, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I know a lot of people like him because he's like the ultimate rising rush farmer, right? Two times card draw speed. Uh, we have Zenkai <laughs> Vegeta, Zenkai Kid Goku, Zenkai Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Like we have the full color wheel for GT. So I'm very curious to you, like, what do you guys think that GT absolutely needs? For, in terms of color. Honestly, I still want him to be red for region. Uh, for GT, I think they also only have one good red. So, And it's a Zenkai unit that, you know, I think will be free yeah. to play. But I think it would be cool if he was, you know, helping out that that uh, red spot. No, actually, they have two Zenkai units. Never mind. But they had two. Bro, did they yeah, GT Goku. Yeah, did I they announce I think they're a both red okay, Piccolo? Though. Um, On yeah, the still. V jumps? Yeah, still. yeah, the stretchy arms. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's, let's see how good that Piccolo will be. Yeah, we'll see how good he's going to be. But that's what I heard. I'll start getting interested pretty about nice, that though. as well. But then for GT, probably purple would be a good color. Just because they only have like the Super Saiyan 4 as a viable one, right? I think the only other purple mm -hmm. GT unit is the Kid Goku. 
and that's an extreme. If I'm not wrong. No, you got yeah, that's EX the HP Super bar. 17. Hey. Oh, come on. He gets a blast on entry. Cool. Oh my god. <laughs> cool. Almost as good sure, as never. extreme Raditz after Zenkai who gets a green on entry. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but uh, honestly, I don't want a purple. I really do love that Super Saiyan 4 Goku a lot. Like he is so, so good. Yeah, he's damn good, yeah. Do you but, think they're making him blue just to replace Ice Shenron, who was never used in the first place? They could. The Super Saiyan. <laughs> they, they honestly, they could. I wouldn't mind a blue. I mean, I'll, I'll take that over a Zenkai Super Baby 2, which a lot of people have told me they want it. And I was like, oh, no way in life do I want to see that man, Zenkai. Region main says hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. I think no, blue that or yellow would, would just, be nice. Yeah. Yeah, blue or yellow. Yeah, same. More so blue. I don't want them to get rid of Super Saiyan 4 Goku options. J just yeah, before you get this platinum, you know. Well, who knows yeah, when to that's get some shine. Be. Yeah. Well, if he has like, let's say this is just hypothetical because I don't know, but let's say he comes out and he has endurance or revival, like one or the other, then I would probably want him to be yellow just to take like either you can choose Maju or him, or but if he's not gonna have any type of endurance or revival, then I think blue would would be a pretty good color. But I'm not really a GT expert by any means. Yeah, well, for blue, honestly, like that kid Goku is not bad at all, especially like. Yeah, um, no, he's amazing. Because he mm -hmm. has that AoE green, like he has the double card draw speed, but it just, um, sometimes he does fall short in terms of damage. And if he's in too long, like I think it's past 10 timer counts, he just becomes like a, just like a basically like a wet paper towel. Like he just absolutely gets folded. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. he has his weaknesses you need for them sure. High stars. Yeah. yeah. You need them high stars to shine. Yeah, definitely. I agree. But going back to Omega Shenron, we do know that he um he's going to have like a there. They qu don't quote me on this, but it looks like he's going to be really like tanky, like he's going to be really defensive based. Right. Because it, it says like when he got his little preview, it said that he's going to have abilities that greatly decrease like damage received. And then it also said mm -hmm. that once he falls below a certain point in health, that he's going to be able to uh, heal himself back up. So what? what that sounds like some endurance type type stuff it, it, yeah yeah it honestly does i think the team needs it you know yep yep or like yeah, some corrupted agree. zamas passive where he heals when he's below the third a certain threshold when he uses oh, yeah. starts that's it it's like bro i'll tell you zamas. right now if he comes out and he has endurance and he's blue then gt is gonna like skyrocket on the oh, tier list because be they're gonna so have easy. they're basically gonna you you can have two endurance options if you need it but it also just gives them more you know, com like different combos you can do with your team. Like you can, instead of always bringing Majub for the endurance, you have that option to switch it up and go blue and still have endurance. So yeah, that'd be insane. I think it's going to be a real defensive team because I mean, if it doesn't excel in, you know, just offensive capabilities, which this team doesn't really compare to some other teams, you know, I feel like they could definitely take the cake with it just being defensive. If, oh, dude. You know, yeah. He, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I think like the meta right now, it's either you're either hyper offensive with with hybrids like that's just a super offensive team with. The, but they do have defensive options as well, obviously, with revival they endurance, mm -hmm. but they're just like hyper offensive. And then you got like the more defensive side with, I guess, Saiyans, God Key, regen like it's that's, you know, it's kind of crazy when you look at it. They're just complete opposites, basically. Yeah. All right. So I wonder what yeah, it, Z ability is going to be. Hmm. But uh, I was just curious about that because we already have two people that double buff defense with the Zenkai Super 17 and Gogeta Super 7 4. So, huh? hmm. yeah. So that's what I was curious yeah, about true. too. I know. Yeah, because that's people... why I brought up the, the whole defensive thing because we already yeah. have two double buff. Maybe GT HP. Imagine. Oh, <laughs> that would be dude. If he but was an HP buff, the kid that would be, be sick. That? Jesus. Doesn't the ex uh, purple Kid Goku does that? Yeah, he's the HP? only one. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. yeah, now that you say that, GT kind of needs another health buffer. I mean, they don't need it. Like, if you really want HP, you can just throw the EX Goku on there. But um, I think HP yeah, maybe would like be cool. HP in another stat. But maybe? then that that makes me nervous oh. for regen setups. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, that only buffing is always for winning. Yeah. <laughs> Not buffing buff region, no. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? Noctis? HP for GT only. <laughs> Not even me. Everyone is saying that. No, you were you were the loudest, so I'm picking on you. Chill. <laughs> oh sure, man. I don't mind. <laughs> you were the one I caught. Everybody else oh, got away, God. so now you have to bear the brunt of all of that. <laughs> but uh yeah um Whoa. i would be interested as um 
Swift, what are your thoughts on the entire like video and stuff, Legends feedback update, I think they called it 2021? Because that's, uh, that's quite some changes they made. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, dude, I'm honestly, I'm pretty damn hype. They announced a lot of different things. Uh, Purse, I, I don't want to like go through step by step on everything, but like some of the things I'm most excited for is definitely the pvp changes the increased ranks the separate pvp leagues i think that's actually going to be a really good change for the game um it's you know it, it, i think it's just going to make the player base happier you know what i'm saying yeah i think you don't have those um, those patches of new timmy versus veteran yeah exactly like it's it's, it's just going to make the player base happier and it's gonna like the dedicated players that play every single day, I think they're going to be getting rewarded more as well. From my understanding, like the higher, higher rank PVP is you're going to be getting better rewards. So I think overall, that's a phenomenal thing, especially, you know, just to, just to make people happy, man. I feel like there's, there's, a, there's a lot of negative that goes around. And I think, you know, the more positive they, that they can dish into the game, um, it's just going to make the player base happier. But also we all, we already kind of touched on it a little bit, but they basically announced the Zenkai Awakening from now on is going to be free. Like I said, we already touched on it, but I think that is a topic like, you know, definitely worth bringing up. I think that's phenomenal. Even though, you know, Zenkai's nowadays have been more on the balance side, I still think this is definitely a really, really good change for sure. Um, and then did they announce something with, did they announce something about the story too? Yeah, it said just that you need to unlock certain story uh, quests to be able to play certain events, like the Prince oh, of Alsea. Okay, to catch yeah, up on like collection. characters and stuff. Yeah, event conditions. Yeah, you can you can unlock them way earlier now. Yeah, that's cool. And like then obviously the we got Legends Gogeta Weekend as well. A lot of a lot of positive changes in uh, Legends Weekend. But yeah, I the the thing that I'm definitely I mean the free Zenkai's is awesome, but what I'm most excited for is just the PvP changes. I think we've had the same, you know, basically the same PvP for so long. It's nothing's really changed. Same reward, same, you know, grind to rank 50 and you know, go for top 10k. Um, I think it'll be kind of fresh to have some some new new guidelines here, some increased ranks, you know. Like I said, the dedicated players will get rewarded more. And if anything, this will encourage, you know, the lower ranked players to, you know, grind more. And I think overall that's healthy for the game. More people playing, I think the better the game's going to be. Yeah, I agree, I agree with that. And I mean, I think we covered most of the, the actual changes that were implemented already. You know, like the yeah. free Zenkais, the, the weekend stuff we we'll talk about in a little bit. And the, just uh, the story unlock. Um, what I also like is that now for T.O.P., you can uh, you can just basically gather all 25 TP and just do it all in one go. Oh yeah, that is huge. Yeah, that's I forgot sick. about that. I think I will. Yeah. I think I will do that next season. Also because it gives you <laughs> it gives you time to friendship rank 10 all your units that you're gonna bring into the into the top first. You know, it just gives you much more time to prepare. And Does that mean you can basically just chill until the last yeah. day and then like just do it all at once? Yep. That's what's up. I remember Ryudin saying now you can just see who was on the leaderboard the, la the, the last day and just, <laughs> just copy their teams. Yeah, you could literally just like yeah. snipe at last minute if you wanted to. What? See who the top teams yeah. are and just come through a TOP. Yeah, and sure. <laughs> that way nobody misses out on any, any rewards or anything, you know? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. That's nice. The only thing you need to remember. Because I hate maxing out my energy yeah, yeah. and just, ah, oh, maxed out my energy and then. Damn. I'm, I'm, yeah, Sam. Sometimes I forget, and it's like, God damn it, I didn't check TOP. I, I <laughs> play it. I play it every I'm day. Sweating, dude. Sweating. <laughs> <laughs> TOP is fun, dude. I remember everyone was like absolutely destroying TOP when it first came out, but now it's you know it's. Bro, I love the rewards. Yeah. Like that CC adds up quickly, especially when you're getting top 10k in PVP as well. Yep. Like it's basically like you're getting a thousand CC a week, basically. Because I think they're yeah, that's alternating. Like, like one week you get the, your PvP, the next week you get your TOP, and then it like alternates basically. Yep, that cell banner is gonna see all my 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 CC. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing I really am happy about with the video and stuff is when they said they were changing the Vegeta tag because oh, certain yeah. Vegetas oh, in the yeah. game are not Vegeta family. You know, like the Great Ape and the Free the Namek. Ultra one, yeah, because he's free. He barely has any teams aside from like Frieza Force and 
uh, Frieza saga, you know? Yeah. So I'm glad they're kind of messing around with that because, you know, in the past when they brought out the green LF Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, I don't think he had the future tag. I think that was added on. They added one of his tags on when he first came out. And, you know, and I'm glad they're re just kind of revamping it because, you know, they, well, let's see, Evolution Vegeta came out this year. It hasn't been a completely dead team, but I don't think people use the team overall. So I want to see how that affects, you know, future Vegeta units and whatnot. And if they decide to bring out more tournament power Vegetas or Dude, so many yeah. other Vegetas, if they go back before, you know, he, you know, got with Bomer or whatnot, because I really do like the grade eight Vegeta. I actually like him a lot. Yeah, he's really good. And I'm, I'm yeah, glad that sure. hopefully with them revamping the tag, maybe he'll have a place on the team with the other Majin Vegeta, since they're both very strike heavy units and, you know, and they also have the support Vegeta that's very annoying that I don't like, but just yellow. And, you know, so I'm really happy to see <laughs> that they're revamping that Vegeta family to what they say, a Vegeta clan or whatever in the video. Yeah, so. Vegeta clan, mm -hmm. which is awesome, awesome I think. <laughs> yeah, I think it's awesome. I think the name is... What do you guys like the name? I think the name is fine. Vegeta, Vegeta clan. clan. I think it's sick. The clan. Well, now we don't have to worry, like, anytime <laughs> they drop a Vegito, that we don't have to be like, oh, are they going to be Vegeta family? Like, they're, I th yeah, I'm pretty like, sure every gonna Vegeta is just opponent. Vegeta clan. Mm -hmm. Yep. Which is, think, which is awesome. I think, too, someone pointed out in chat, but I think um, once Vegeta fam does get Endurance or Revival, that they will be, like, a really, really good team. They just need a couple more units and stuff like that, right? Because every team yeah. these days, they need Endurance or they need Revival. Like, Sun Family, well, they have, like, three? Three revival units already. Like it's all the Gohans at this point. And Klaku. Yeah, all the Gohans. Yeah, and Klaku. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's just like truly, they just need some endurance. They need some revival on there. Show them some love. You know, it's, I, uh, you know, they, they have a lot of options, a lot of avenues to explore there with that tag. Now that it's Vegeta Clan. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think they could use a little more cover change abilities as well, just like support yep. Vegeta. You know, whether it may be coming in on blast or strike or reducing key. Or damage mitigation, whatever it may be. You know, I would like to see more of that for Vegeta Clan or whatever the new tag is going to be as well. So I'm, I'm happy. A I'm, revival I'm a unit family, so. with strike cover change. Let's go. Yeah, that, yeah that's well, basically like revival Gohan, options. right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, oh dude, I, I think Vegeta family needs the love. I mean, you can yeah. obviously say Evolution Vegeta is amazing, but I think overall Vegeta. Well, I should start saying Vegeta Clan, not Vegeta family. Uh, Vegeta clan, I think they're this, this new update where they're kind of more general generalizing the tag. I think it's a good thing, but they, they're not all the way there yet. I agree with what Asdi mm -hmm. said specifically. I think, um, a revival unit would make that team really, really good. Yep. Like dude, evolution Vegeta alongside oh, a revival I just about unit. Something. Be crazy. You guys think the sort of hope trunks could be a revival unit in the, yeah. the near future? It could be. Yeah, oh. that would be sick. I would like that a He's lot. He's another unit I would like to see for Black Friday or Christmas or anything like that. Because I'm just trying to think of ideas of who we could see for these next two big celebrations. And he's definitely one of them that I really want to see. But, but, but don't hybrids, buff hybrids. Yeah. yeah don't know, buff hybrids. hybrids. <laughs> That's all yeah. I haven't brought up until hybrids, now. We get. Oh, man. If they, of hybrids that we get. <laughs> if they drop if they drop some type of trunks, hopefully, like, dude, if they want to, they have the option. They can just make him you know, specifically made for Vegeta family. Like, it doesn't have to yeah. be a hybrid thing. Like, yeah, they, they they don't, they're not really, like, restricted to any rules here. Like, I mean, I mean, they try to make units balanced. Obviously, they don't always succeed with that. We all know that. But, um, you know, they, I think if they really wanted to, if they if they do drop another hybrid, they don't have to make them, you know, buffing hybrids or Sun family. Yeah. Like, it can be a Vegeta like, family in the future. It's going to be hard go. to replace hybrids anyway. Like, it, no one has been replaced out the, the the top three hybrid units. I mean, Zenkai Goten sure didn't. Zenkai Gohan sure didn't. You know, they're just additional options if you don't have, like, Revival Gohan or somehow FSK or the future Gohan. Like, I don't think top three of hybrids are going to move anytime soon. Because that team that. is going to be hard to top. Yeah, it's just the units are too good. So. Yep. Because even oh yeah, with the leader update, yeah, on. no, I saw somebody in chat say bring up the leader update, but that's actually true. Yeah. Um, if mm -hmm. they if they do drop some type of powerful hybrid and they're specifically buffing Vegeta family, if if you really want to, you could just pick that unit as your leader unit and throw them on a hybrid team, and it'll still work. So. Oh, just slapping that on Goku <laughs> real quick. All That's these another hybrids, thing to man. remember with the leader slot. Like it's, there, yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of good like possibilities, a lot of like freshness to PVP with the leader slot. 
but I also I'm kind of nervous to see see some of the combinations that people decide to make. Yeah, same. I mean, I guess time will tell because the leader update is not coming yeah. until probably by either Black Friday or the New Year's update. So, you know, we'll see about that. And um, yeah, we got one more big change that we wanted to single out, even though Iron Kane isn't here, but that is uh, Legends Weekend getting a big buff. Uh, Riku, have you noticed it this weekend? And if so, what was the biggest notable, noticeable change for you? There's stuff in slot removers down my throat, and I love it. Keep doing that. But uh, no, <laughs> I'm glad to see that. They put it in the shop as well for like eight bucks, and it was like 50 slot removers. For eight bucks, yeah. And yeah, this is the slot remover update for me, you know, because I use all of mine and don't get lucky. But that's honestly my favorite part of the update. I'm sure someone will have more to say about the Legends Weekend update. Yeah, um, I, I haven't logged much into yesterday, so I didn't get to enjoy it as much as I wanted to but I, I did see the slot removers and I 100% will be going for that but yeah if anyone can definitely expand from that to be honest <laughs> um dude I I kind of want to just jump right into the banner man like oh yeah dude I I literally oh, yeah the 100 cc yeah the hundreds you got a revamp we got mm -hmm. a Gogeta blue in there now you got LF Broly like dude I summoned on there yesterday, like for the first time, the first Legends Weekend update. I was, and I got I LF saw Frieza. It. Yeah, dude, right here. Was, <laughs> it, was, it was live, yep, I saw it. Dude. Live right here, dude. I got LF Frieza. I was dude. so happy, dude. <laughs> nice. Legends W Weekend. And then the Giddy blue purple. I love nice. Yeah. Bro, I'll tell you right now, before I was kind of always on the fence if I if I wanted to waste a hundred CC, like go for some type of LF, or you know, at least you're getting your sparking coin or whatever, but like, I was always on the fence before, but nowadays I feel like this banner is actually worth it. Like, if you somehow oh, yeah, 100%. Can snag a copy of Broly or Gogeta Blue or, I mean, even Majin Vegeta, you could argue UI Goku, especially that Piccolo. Obviously, we move down the list and we get into some of the older LF units, but mm -hmm. um, Broly and Gogeta Blue especially. If you can snag some copies of those for 100 CC, it's definitely worth it. Well, I mean, even that Piccolo, for example, that he has a Zenkai. So, you know, that's, if you get him to seven stars, you can Zenkai him for free from uh, from the shop, from the uh, Rush shop. Mm -hmm. So that's also a nice yep. thing to, you know, keep in mind. Same for Frieza. Not everybody has him seven stars. Mm -hmm. And maybe even Namek yeah. Goku or Super Saiyan 3, I still sometimes see people on Twitter saying, hey, you know, I need one more star, man. So this is now your chance. Hopefully you get lucky. Yeah, I still mm -hmm. need one more copy for Super Saiyan 3 Zenkai. So I'll definitely be summoning on this. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think that's really good that they did this update right before, like I said, two big celebrations or whatnot. So I hope to see more of it. You know, every now and then, or maybe before the Christmas update, we'll see something like this where you have and they just cycle out, I guess, maybe the LFs with the higher rates. Because the rates for them kind of split, of course. Some have higher higher rates than the others and stuff like that. So hopefully, you know, for the next time around, they can cycle around who has higher rates for the LFs and stuff for the next weekend banner if they decide to do it again, which I, I, I want to see it. Oh, no, 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 that's just the regular units that, yeah, yeah. So those are the other units, but disregard the higher rates. But yeah, I, I would definitely like to see this again, 100%. I think it's a good idea, especially since not everyone have the units at seven stars to be Zenkai in the near future. Because well, what do we have? We still have Super Vegito in here yet to be Zenkai, you yeah. know? You guys think he's going to be Zenkai, like, Christmas? Or next Honestly, anniversary? I don't know. I, I feel like that's a thought. Yeah, I don't know because he's a Super Saiyan, so that's always something that's limiting him in the, hey, in the way. That's true. But, but I'm, I'm sure a lot of us said the same thing about Frieza owning a Super Art as well. It took a while, but I'm just glad we got him. But to be fair, that, that tag needed that. But, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, Other than I that, think it'd yeah. still be good because... Like, honestly, I face fusions every week. That's it. Once every week. <laughs> do, do you really? <laughs> yeah, like I don't see fusions that much. That's what I mean. So I think they could yeah. really use the help with uh, Zenkai. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Oh, banner's good. And Summon, then also definitely. what I like are the, oh, the blue coins. Every four weeks you can get 100 Legends Limited Multi-Z Power. Or you can get you Which know, is huge. slot removers. Uh, I really like ones. that. Yeah. Even though it's only 100, like, I still like, like, I'm in a situation right now where I'm literally, like, I'm sitting on a couple hundred LFZ powers, like, and basically I'm 100 away from getting my Evolution Vegeta to 7, so basically I'm just going to make sure I grind this and 
I guess here in a month I'll have them seven stars unless they hopefully drop like a limit break banner before then, but they might not end up dropping that. Yeah, probably. But there might be one before Black Friday, to be honest. Bro, I hope so. I mean, like, dude, back on third anniversary, we were getting limit break banners like left and right, it felt like. But uh, since anniversary, it, it's it seemed like they haven't really dropped it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, it's like they, know, they put it in Hoi Poi. Yeah, like, yeah. 200 and hoi poi free. yeah that's true split it that's up true like that. I, and i'm definitely glad they've been bringing the hoi poi back i love the hoi poi the hoi poi is always good that is true all right they just need to keep it permanent like just on rotation like different events doing it for different things like whether it's a raid or when you know whatever they just need to keep it permanent yeah for sure agreed and then one more thing that came with the update are the plat equips for the ultra units noctis uh have you gotten your z yet and uh, what do you think of them? Do they make a difference? Um, with the equipments, personally, I'm chilling with them because they are permanently there. I can grind them whenever I want, but they make such a huge difference. Like, for example, the Ultra Goku one, it's like nearly having a Zenkai bench, like the strike damage he outputs. The equivalent well, with having a Zenkai bench is nearly the same. So this equipment is actually so damn good and so like devastating. You have to use it if you use Ultra Goku. And for Vegeta, basically the same thing. If you use the characters, use the equipment. Don't yeah. even bother without them anymore. Just put them on, grind They're them, get them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it also means one hundred percent masters. They are so broken. It also means you have to run them on the respective teams, right? So you need to run the Vegeta on Frieza Saga. Otherwise, the last slot is kind of. I mean, eh? basically only the Vegeta has a restrictment. The Goku counts for himself. Yeah, he counts for himself. But uh, if you only have one Saiyan battle member, he gets five to ten percent to own strike for I mean, each yeah, but... Saiyan member. Yeah. Where, where would you play him on? Super yeah. Saiyans with the hybrid, I mean, even there he gets 20%. Yeah, you're right. Bro, basically. I, dude, I'll tell you right now, I feel like it was either yesterday or the day before. I think it was yesterday I was streaming and like, dude, I, I think I matched somebody. They were rocking Super Saiyans with uh, Bardock, obviously, and this Goku, the Ultra Goku. And uh, dude, I mm -hmm. swear he yeah. had this equipment because, bro, he I, I have not seen Ultra Goku do that type of damage in a minute. Obviously, yeah, he, he did, had Bardock right, buffs, he, he had crits, the crits. it's over, dude. But yep. If he crits with this equipment, it's over. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so that's actually pretty impressive, and that kind of, you know, circles around what we said earlier, is, like, if you're a free-to-play uh, character, or <laughs> free-to-play player, uh, you got to <laughs> go for Bardock in the in the rush shop, man. It is 100% worth it. Bardock yeah. plus Ultra yeah, Goku, Goku, I mean, it's, yeah, and it's, there you go. it's crazy. Such a free combo. <laughs> Easy clap. <laughs> Yeah, that, exactly. honestly, I actually fought against a similar team as well. So uh, Ultra, Goku, Ultra Goku was on it, like, with Bardock and can't remember the other Super Saiyan unit that was on the team. And, dude, he was outputting crazy damage. I was like, oh, my God, these are these are hurting these crits. Because oh, yeah. I, I tried him out with support of Vegeta because I wanted him to get his other, you know, ability off with having a support unit or whatnot. But yeah. it didn't seem like he did that much with the additional support of Vegeta that I had. But... Honestly, I, th I think critical is the way to go with the Ultra Vegeta. Uh, Ultra Goku, sorry, with this uh, Platinum equipment. Now, for me, Ultra Vegeta, of course, I like him more. You know, I'm a Vegeta fan and whatnot. Now, I actually really enjoy the Namek saying, oh, yeah, the Frieza Saga team. So I run him with, uh, really enough, I run him with Full Power Frieza. And I run him with Namek Goku, the Transforming Blue one. So I run those three together because I tried out a super hyper offensive team which we had no defensive buffs, but uh, two blast defense from the Vegeta in the full power Frieza. And then the rest of the bench was, you know, EX. Gohan with the blast attack, strike attack. Then, you know, Nail 35, if you have a max style to strike attack, blast attack, and the same with uh, mm -hmm. Krillin. So it was just nothing but hyper offensive because Goku does the same thing, not to Frieza, but to Vegeta because he's a Saiyan. I was about to and ask you, do you have robbery on that team? Well, I didn't, I only got him up to five. <gasps> And oh, then I, I missed the rest, and I'm very Whoa. sad because I'll I have. <laughs> yeah, if you Bro. guys have strawberry, raspberry, those <laughs> units that were free to play, I, I actually want them to bring that event back. Bro, robbery I miss is getting them to six. And there's plus. actually some yeah. pretty crazy team setups. You like, you can run like Namek Goku, Robbery, mm -hmm. you know, LF or the um, EX Krillin, or you can run like yeah. LF uh, Zenkai Frieza. 
robbery, Namagoku. Like, there's some, there's some pretty, to, cool, pretty good setups you can make. Yeah, those yeah, definitely better options. I had to bootleg my way around the team, so to speak, since I didn't grind those to six stars. If I don't grind the units to six stars, I most likely won't use them. But I mean, that's not also an option for a lot of people disregarding free to play units. But yeah, I actually miss getting them to six plus. Of course, they would be a better addition. So I was like, you know, what? let me try them out on this hyper offensive variation. And Vegeta just output a crazy damage. I'm like, no, this can't be real, right? Yeah, with this platinum equipment. And yeah, I, I really enjoy the platinum equipment for both units. Like I said, for Ultra Goku, definitely on a critical variation. And then, you know, you have the Vegeta for the Frieza saga. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Sounds good. All right. So that's pretty much it for the discussion part. We're going to take a quick three minute break and then we will be back with questions. So we're going to take questions from chat. Make sure to have them locked and loaded and uh, enjoy your three minutes break. We will be right back. All right, we are back. And uh, the man Riku will now take your questions. So put them in chat and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Rico, take yep. it away. MC Rico. Ask whatever <laughs> questions that you have in chat. We will answer it to the best of our ability. I promise I will. So, all right, I have a question right here. Do you think from uh, Sammy13, do you think that the age of insane Zenkais is gone forever with the introduction of free Zenkais to the game or not? So I'm, um, I'm going to start off with that. Or do, do you want to start off with that? Oh, no, or? go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I do think so. Only because just seeing the last units being Zenkai and just seeing how they went from being broken to actually, you know, being an option on a team rather than just being um, detrimental to the team or for the team and whatnot. So it's like all the Zenkais that I feel like we received this year were just additions to the team and not actually take a spot unless the team needed a Zenkai in general. You know, teams like I feel like San Fami's saying. What about LOE though? And those things were pretty now? bad. <laughs> we don't we don't talk about LOE. Yeah. Yeah, like the Zenkai's I feel like definitely aren't as broken as they used to be, honestly. And that's why I just assume maybe, you know, they could be free in the near future. Of course, no one hundred percent you like knew and thought about it. I was like, you know what? They aren't becoming as crazy as they once was, like with the Gohan and the 18 when she first came out, Zenkai. Oh yeah. I mean, and you know, I'm, I'm glad they are becoming a little more balanced, but I do still want them to be usable. So I personally think the age of broken Zenkais are gone, especially now that they're becoming free. I do think so. That would be way yep. too kind to give us a broken free Zenkai. Yep, I agree with that. I personally just hope that LF Zenkais, like new LF Zenkais, will still like be able to dominate, but not in terms like Gohan, like FSK. But I don't want them to release and then die down because you waited for the LF Zenkai like forever and maybe you never were able to play the Zenkai because or the LF because you never had them before and then they got outdated that's like my only personal point that I that they still will be like really damn good if a new LF Zenkai releases for example Super Vegito imagine he releases and he is so balanced like the I don't know, the new Zenkais that we got and you just don't play him and boom, he dies down. You never see him ever again. I just hope that doesn't happen, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. I think um, LF Zenkai should still be able to compete and stuff like that. They should still be on somewhat of a scale of broken, right? Because they're LF units, I think. Yeah, they should be yeah, a LF step above the Zenkais rest. Zenkais are the like only exceptions I would probably say nowadays for the LF units that do get Zenkai. So yeah, I agree with that. Okay, so is that all for that one? Uh, we do have another question. Haha. -ha. Okay, so what does Gogeta's new equip need to have for him to be better than Zenkai 7 Super 17? So we're talking about the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta on GT. That's a tough one. A it's lot really of, tough. Yeah. A lot. I feel like he needs some. Um, he needs some pure stats. Like he needs like a. I don't know. I guess if you're if it's gonna be more like specifically for GT, he could gain. You know five six percent strike attack per battle member per gt battle member or something like that um i feel like offensively he definitely needs some pure stats but you could argue he needs defenses too so like he, he this needs is, this, everything this equip I, think. Just I think has to be like a yeah. <laughs> wonder equip where that just has a little bit of everything i think the equip needs no. to yeah. be like those extreme equips for every color yeah oh god <laughs> honestly though like, honestly <laughs> 
No, yeah. bro. He I, needs I, Jesus I as ZB Jesus. Okay, man. ZB Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> give that man like revival or something. Just slap revival tag, like a revival option yeah. on him. But on the equipment, I feel like yeah. he's raw speed and <laughs> HP. I feel like they meant to bring him out like as like a jack of all trade. He does everything, but not necessarily good at anything. And that's what yep. it feels like yeah. because the guy doesn't tank. He doesn't do damage. I mean, sure, his coverability is nice, but you can also bait that. And it's yeah. like I, I love his quirk skill. That's probably like my favorite Back. aspect. Yeah, his animations are great. I love saying that so I much. His, I love all of his animations. Yeah, his animations are really nice. I really love his green card. And yeah, I, I just really think he needs maybe a platinum equipment to just make him either extra tanky or just give him something revolving around other GT members and have an increase from that, you know? But yeah. I don't know what could honestly save him. Maybe Omega Shinra can help him out with tanking because he's not doing the best job. Yeah, I don't I, like. I agree. Or maybe the boss from Omega could probably help him out. Who knows? Yeah. You know? yeah, he should, yeah. And what I'd see on the equipment would be like one slot with double defense, one slot with maybe pure double offense, and then HP slot. That would be really damn good for him. Uh, dude, yeah, I was about yeah. to say HP would be nice. So yeah. basically the Super Saiyan 3 equip. I think that's best case scenario. Yes. They just copy and paste <laughs> In it. In a nutshell, like, yeah. Yeah, he because the Super Saiyan 3 equip well, it has health restoration, strike defense, and blast defense all in the first slot. And then has strike attack, blast attack in the second, and, and then, then base health, super, special right? move damage, and ultimate damage yeah. on the third slot. Yeah. Yeah, because the you know he already has like the ha 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 equipment with literally nothing but defense, strike yeah. blast, strike and then blast. But yeah. you know, it's which those values yeah. are a little higher, and uh, it just needs more than tanking capability. I think he just needs that extra support. That's what I really think he needs the extra support from other uh, units on the team. So we'll see what Omega gives. When he does come out and what other let me scroll back up to see if we have anything else what teams like gt from thanks scott what teams like gt lineage of evil and fusions need to be better super warriors i got you mm -hmm. battle more i think gt Ooh. fusion warriors and loe <laughs> oh. i mean a lot of these teams i feel like just need a revival unit yeah. yeah, revival and endurance. I think like that needs crazy. to be stuff just, on every team. It doesn't even have to be that good of a unit, dude. It can mm -hmm. literally just just a unit. Like look at look at Green Gohan. Like obviously, if you you can run him on hybrids, and that's why he's busted. But you can make like you know somewhat of like a Sun Family setup where you're not even using FSK. You can use like you know Namek Goku and you know somebody else and the the Green Gohan and just just having the revival is is so powerful. It just like, makes you feel safe. He doesn't have to do crazy damage. He doesn't have to have the best defenses. Just, ha just simply having a revival unit on your team is so important. Mm -hmm. And it's so detrimental. That's why I feel like teams nowadays, definitely compared to like when we only had a few revival and not that many endurance units, uh, you know, with teams nowadays, I feel like we're kind of used to like having that revival and endurance option. In, you know in today's time and it's like any teams that don't have that kind of feels not as safe you know or you know unless they have like some sick cover change ability and exactly. I, I feel like that's something that's needed on some of these older teams just bring out a unit like i don't know maybe they bring out another vegito since he apparently comes out every anniversary <laughs> and they missed, you know, they missed maybe it here, give huh? him yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but so yeah. Um, yeah, I, I guess just need to update them as far as abilities for those type of teams personally. But I mean, I, I'm sure we, yeah, we should have a problem have with like that fusions. defensive option, like Rico said, with the endurance or revival, you get rushed so early and basically yeah. are facing two versus three. Like yesterday, 50 like time accounts, 65 rush. It's like, <laughs> what? Like, bro, what? Yeah, and it's not yeah. even two versus three, it's two versus five. Yeah, exactly. You face the revival, but you don't have them, and they can rush you ASAP when they want and kill. We need a, a revival for female warriors. But honest, oh. honestly, this is this is why I think uh, Cell is Ooh, so though. good. You know, like the region setup. Even if you don't want to rush, you can just deny the rush for so long. If you manage to kill the revival unit, four four Dragon Balls gone. Two more Dragon Balls on cover yeah, change. True. Two more Dragon Balls from DKP. Eight Dragon Balls. Yeah, have fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, do we have any more time for more yeah, questions? Let's do one more. Okay, so we're gonna pick one more. One from Mugi. All right, what color and what does Omega need to do to make the GT viable? So, personally for me, I feel <laughs> like he definitely needs to carry the team as far as tanking because 
I, I think the team it needs help. The team already has a lot of defensive Z abilities anyway, so I want to see something different from him. As we said earlier, maybe like an HP Z ability, maybe with another one stat. And well, yeah, like I said, I wouldn't mind for him to be blue. We do have the Super Saiyan 3 Kid GT Goku as an option. I think he's really nice for racking up. Well, well, he has the card draw speed. I think he's really nice for just getting Dragon Balls. You know what I mean? And he also shall have the ability to where, you know, he had the more Dragon Balls he have, the more damage he outputs as well, while keeping, you know, the, the tanky nature that he supposedly will have and whatnot. So I personally want to see him also have other, you know, maybe some support abilities for the rest of his team. You know what I mean? Like switching out, giving a buff to this unit because Gogeta really needs it. Yeah, or rather maybe so. offensive buff or de defensive buff when switching in or even when switching out like i just want to see some support buffs with the rest of the team because well i mean i feel like the team is good but it's still missing you know that one thing to make it freaking like really top tier it's to be like what not to stand out to you to be like a vados yeah. of uh gt yeah that's no, exactly no, like, what i was thinking like a, like a vados of gt like a support mm -hmm. vegeta Why that yeah i feel like that but with more damage. I will uh, say it's like a double-edged sword because like whatever they do, they have, like it's gonna help GT and it's also helping Regen. So like, well, yeah, I would love for him to, to destroy Dragon Balls as well. Yeah. I would love that. Yes, the please. The thing with the Ultra characters though is that sometimes they do get pigeonholed and you see a significant nerf in them if they don't yeah. play them on their correct teams. Like um, mm -hmm. yeah, they could specifically just design them for yeah. GT. I would actually love that. Yeah, I would Regen love it's fine on its own right now. Yeah, I think GT just needs to be the main focus for Omega Shinron. Yeah. Yeah. And for the record, I don't like, I'm not like hating on regen. Sure. I'm just, I'm just saying like, I think regen is good <laughs> where they're at right now. Yeah, don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? hate on regen, okay? You don't yeah. need Like, like there's stuff. certain teams that just don't need any more love. Like there's hybrids, there's Saiyans, there's regen. I'd say those, like those three teams right now, and you could argue maybe movies. There's like a couple teams, like they've gotten a lot of love recently and they're just good where they're at. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They should just turn movies into like an anti-meta team. Honestly, just give whatever um whatever like whenever they Basically look for pvp is, yeah like kind of yeah i think they should honestly keep that going like whatever the meta team is for these pvp seasons just bring out a, another movies unit that counter the most of the meta you know what i mean everything so yeah. i think they should just <laughs> it's always going to be a goku just like different colors yeah, <laughs> yeah that's exactly. what i'm gonna see <laughs> See, like extreme Goku in all different colors, and uh, they counter hybrids, Re region, Saiyans, what have you, <laughs> and movies at one point. <laughs> and movies, yeah. <laughs> I think that'd be really cool. Be all righty, so uh, that's it for episode 56 of the Dragon. Oh no, no, no! Ultra Space Time podcast. I almost, uh, almost did an oopsie <laughs> there. Uh, thank you, Riku, for, for joining us today. Uh, the podcast will go live in about 24 and a half hours on YouTube if you missed it or want to rewatch parts of it. So feel free to check that out as well. Um, check out all our other social media. And make sure to also follow our creators. Riku is streaming on Twitch, but also mostly active on YouTube. We have Asdi uh, on YouTube, Noctis and Swift mainly on Twitch. But Swift also uploads, you upload daily, right, on YouTube? Yeah. Yeah, so... Make sure to check everybody out. And um, we will be back next week with episode 57. Man, we're closing in on 59, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's been over a year. So have a great week. Stay safe. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Later. Bye. Well, peace out. <laughs>